Welcome to Ease the Load, the show which takes a look at the teacher's workload and offers up ideas on how to make it lighter. Today we're going to put assessment under the spotlight. We'll be looking at how an online system developed by a head teacher makes assessing his pupils a lot easier than it used to be. Then we'll be joining an ex-science lab assistant in her new role as an examination officer. And we'll be seeing how a combination of technology, pupils and parents takes the pain out of report writing. But first it's time to take a trip to Leeds to meet a head teacher who had a load easing vision to make light of assessment. Inserts is an online assessment system. Originally when the national curriculum was first produced and I was very concerned I wouldn't be able to monitor what children knew, understood and could do and therefore I devised on a sheet of A4 a wonderful simple system that enabled me to track uh, when a child acquired a piece of knowledge or the understanding that the curriculum dictated it enabled me to inform my planning and it was over the next 14 years that it's developed into what it now is. The system's been devised on a website so that teachers can access it from wherever. The staff click on, spend whatever time they want either during the day or at home and they find it it fits in around their life, they don't have to fit their lives around it. Your spring bank holiday was basically report writing time um, when, when that's you know, spend your whole holiday doing it. Whereas now, because it's automatically generated, I'm not spending as much time. I do what everybody else does in the holidays, <laughs> enjoy myself. So suppose I wanted to check one of my children's attainments. Um, or add something to it. All I would do was go onto the website and then log in. There, there are then here four columns with your English, Math, Science and ICT. Wherever they left off in the previous year, they're, they're given a half a level target, which comes up at the beginning of year in September in red. Then as you input data throughout the year, once they've exceeded the target, that's when it changes colour. So if I want to add an attainment to an individual pupil, get a pull down list and then choose the child you have another list again for subjects, um, so if I click on Maths, Number and Algebra, there are lots of different colours on the screen and the box at the top indicates where the assessment's been put in. For example here, 5A, if I just hover over the edge, it says she does not use her understanding. The second box, she's beginning to. The third box, she's developing the ability to. And the final box, she uses her understanding of place value to multiply and divide whole numbers and decimals by 10, 100 and 1000. This is all from the National Curriculum, it's all the National Curriculum Statements of Attainment. And if I want to go on to produce a report for this child, that's the text which has come from where I've put the attainment in. So if I go to the bottom and click Custom Format, it will generate it into a Word document. And it also brings up the child's teacher assessment, which is 5C, but it also gives you the class average. So I've come to the final page, which has space for teachers' comments and head teachers' comments there. It used to take me a long time to do my handwritten reports. I'm anticipating that it'll take me a lot less, probably at the most half an hour for each individual child. This is how I used to do the reports until this year, and um, as you can see, it's a lot of writing. It took me a long time to do, at least an hour. Occasionally, I'd make the other little mistake, perhaps at the end, so I'd have to start over again. Um, so I'm anticipating the inserts will take me half this time, which will mean I'll have more time for my family. I normally do it at home, to be honest. Some people might say you're still doing work at home, but at least I've, I've got the option of you know, going home and logging on, sitting in front of the laptop, rather than taking reams of paperwork home, you know, and mountains of paperwork at your dining room table. It, it just, to me, is easier. Classroom teachers are employed to teach, and anything that gets in the way of that has got to be considered to be extra. It's important teachers are given the opportunity to teach, and this frees my teachers up to teach. Inserts isn't the only assessment system available on the market. To find out more, log on to www.teachers.tv slash ease the load. Next up, we go to a school in Derby that looks to its non-teaching staff to ease the administrative load of examinations. 
It's exam time and Deputy Head Richard King has a member of the non-teaching staff to thank for much of the work that goes into the examination process. We put out one, of the, one question paper, one answer booklet on every table and with this number of tables that takes us about 10 minutes. Doreen's help with the examinations has actually taken the load off me particularly. I'm responsible for timetabling, uh, cover at the moment I do in the school as well, and target setting and assessment. Um, so really I wouldn't have the time. I, we, I saw all the papers, I store the papers, I know where everything is, so Richard just walks down and there it is. Doreen has all the contacts with the exam boards, liaises with heads of department and so on, so all of that is taken care of. Um, examination work is not seasonal, so that means that Doreen is able to help me at times in the year, for example with the timetable, with assessment as and when, but on the other hand I know that when her time is needed for exams she can dedicate herself to that completely. At this stage, the pupils will now be collecting outside. They line up in a hard standing area just at the back of the uh, block. At a point where I'm satisfied that the hall is ready to start the exam, I will then alert one member of staff who's usually outside to start bringing the pupils in. Once the pupils are in and settled, I then give instructions about the examination and basically we try to start as soon as we can. During the exam, we don't have to be in the exam or we leave that up to the invigilators. By the fact that I'm the exams officer and I do all the daily admin work, that means Richard he's now got time to do other work, which would have uh, not been done in the past. And the same with most of the teachers. If a teacher's involved, in, they just don't have time to fit everything in. If this job uh, takes the routine admin work away from them, then it saves them an awful lot of time and means they can use that time and more productively. Um, the fact that Doreen has taken over this, this role as exams officer has allowed me to have more time that I can spend on other issues within the school, particularly for example um, setting performance targets for the pupils, which is something that we're developing over this last year or two. Um, Doreen's also taken on totally the responsibility for organising the lay invigilators that we now use for all internal and external examinations um, and she has basically done all of the necessary administration associated with that part of the job. I'm going back down to the um, exam room because it's the exam's due to finish. Just going back to collect up the papers and dismiss the pupils and then sort the strips. We just started to sort the scripts, so we check the scripts as collected. I will read the names off the mark sheet. If Doreen's got a paper for that pupil, I will then tick the appropriate column on here. I took the attendance register in the exam, and so we'll be able to log anybody who's absent uh, on the actual mark sheet. Barbara. Yes. Berry. Yes. William. Yes. Horan. Yes. Lynch. Absent. And then we parcel the scripts up, ready to go to the marker. Hmm. End of story. That's the job done. When I first found out that they wanted to try and uh, introduce an admin exam officer within school, I was absolutely delighted. I wanted a change of, of job, of career, and uh, I thought it would be quite challenging to prove that it could work, to prove that it could work better than if there was a teacher doing it, and that I'd enjoy the, the new experience. One particular thing I enjoy about it is knowing that I have helped the, the teachers to, to do their work better and to improve the system within the school. And if the system runs efficiently, then the pupils are a lot better, they're happier, they're well organised, and I like to feel that I've contributed to that. What do you get if you cross a pupil, a parent, and an even snazzier bit of kit than this? Well, you get report support. Stuyvesant's primary school in Shropshire has an original way of producing school reports. We came across this technology. Now this is a tablet PC. And one of the nice things about it is that I can just have my pen, I can write directly onto the screen, and that will go directly into Word. And as fast as I write, it will keep up with me. 
So that's the beauty of the system. We found that we could go around and do observations and make notes very quickly without overtaking the class too much. So what we decided to do was we'd bring the parents in for interviews with the children and we'd write the reports together. How much effort do you think you put in? One being the highest, five being the lowest, three being satisfactory, OK? We discussed the child's um, effort that they put in. We discussed what we were happy with in every single subject. We would discuss what the child needed to do next. And we put in their targets that we would try and do in the school, but also that the parents would try and achieve at home with the children as well. How much effort do you think you put in? Um, How often did you read at home? Uh, not as often as you should. I was really excited with the one he brought home last week, but uh, I think it's sat there for a week so far. No, I, I'm on, on page 100. Oh, are you? So that's not bad, actually. No, it's not too, it's not too a, bad. No. That is actually not bad. The parents actually felt like, like they understood a lot more of what was being written. The child was definitely involved in knowing what they'd got to do next. And what I would like you to put yourself out to do now is to get these tables sorted, OK? So we say, no, all your tables by when? When should, when should we say you've got to know all your tables by? Christmas? This time next year? The end of the summer holidays? <laughs> yeah. OK, I'll, OK. And from my point of view, once it was written in draft, it took about 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes to tidy it up, and then I could send it out as the report to the parents. So instead of being an hour and 15 minutes, we're looking at 30 to 40 minutes. I'm going for a 5, a 5, and a 5. Mm, well done. So not only has it saved me time, it has actually meant a lot more to the parents. So it's smashing, actually, because um, we can actually sit down with the child and rather than having 10 minutes um, time actually being talked at, which is what we've had to do previously, we can actually sit there, be interactive. The child actually has a say as to how they feel about things as well as um, perhaps what they've actually achieved at school. The children don't always think about how good or how bad they are in detail. Mine in particular always say, I can't do this and I can't do that, but they never actually think why they can't do it and how they could get better. But sitting down all together, it gives them the chance to actually think, why am I not getting anywhere with this? Why do I not enjoy it? And we can play around with ideas how they can improve it. They, this must actually make things much easier for the teacher. Um, because obviously they haven't got to sit down in their own time in the evenings and write it out and it's very easy to make one report the same as the next one because they're of similar standard of working when really they're probably completely different. I'm a teaching head teacher, I teach four days a week and my golden rule is that I come into school at eight o'clock in the morning and I leave at half past five at night and I never take work home with me. And that's making use of this technology, and that's what it's all about. But I really believe that if you're going to be a good teacher, you've got to be fresh for the classroom. And if you work till 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night, you're not going to be fresh for the next day. You're not going to make the difference where it really should be, energy in the classroom. Well, that's it for this show, I'm afraid. But I hope it's given you at least a little bit of inspiration as to how you could ease the load. So until next time, goodbye.